Hi folks, today I will show you how easy it is to add new chords or new chord shapes to chord property. So we have here our great little song and we need to add a new chord which is not known currently to chord property. And so you go to the position and add a new chord with those square brackets and then give the chord name. And what you can see here on the right side is that chord property doesn't know the shape of this uh, chord. So to add a new shape, simply click on the uh, empty chord chart with the mouse. And then you get this uh, empty uh, dialog. And here you go to, uh, click on this little edit button. And then you uh, get this uh, chord editor window. And here on the right side, there is the table with the uh, chord definitions, which defines the shape of the chord. Uh, above this table, there is a little description how this all works, and I will show this right now. Double click on this definition to edit it, and then let's edit uh, or let's include this first uh, little shape. So we give here our first string on the E string, it's the second fret, and then we have here a muted string with an X and also a muted string with an X. Then we have uh, the O string, uh, the O for uh, an open string, and there we have the first fret and then another open string at the high E string. Press enter and what you can see here is our first chord shape. Then you can close this and now we have the first shape for this chord. Uh, to add a new shape for the, a given chord which is already in the, inside the database you also click on the chord diagram uh, as I will show you here and then click on the onto the edit button and then you need to add a new chord definition here on the right side. So click uh, on the plus button and now you get another empty definition and go inside the definition and add the next chord shape. So I will uh, choose this second one with a berry on the second fret. So what you have to know is that all of these definitions are based on the base fret. So our base fret here is fret 2. So I first uh, edit the base fret at this last po position here, which you can see here in the description. Uh, the BB stands for the base fret. And then we uh, add our uh, shape, and our shape then here is uh, 1, 1. Oh, sorry, uh, it's an X for this uh, muted uh, string. And then we have another first fret and we have the fourth fret two times. And we have the second fret on those uh, this last one. And now we have our Oh, I've missed this. Okay, so we will correct this. And now we have our next uh, chord definition. You can switch the chord definitions here and you always can see the, the shape. And to add the a third definition, we can uh, do this a second time. And uh, we give it this last definition here. So we have a first fret, so the fret is not changed and then we have on the first string, on the low E string, we have second fret, then we have a muted string and then another second fret and another muted string and then we have first fret and third fret. And voila, this is our third shape. So now we have three different shapes for one given chord. When we close this, we can see 
our shape here and we can choose the shape uh, by selecting the um, star, the little star button. When you click on the star button then this is the default shape for this chord and all chords in the song are changed to this shape. So let's try this. We take this chord Oh, sorry. Uh, we copy this chord. I take the mouse for this uh, and now we place it here. And uh, we now have the chord a second time in our song and when we change the shape then all shapes of this chord uh, in our song or songs database change. Now I will show you how to add the fingering to a given chord. So let's take this chord here and we click on the chord chart and then we um, go to the edit button and then we uh, choose the chord shape that we want to change or where we want to add the fingering and um, Double click on this chord shape and here at the second, uh, behind this second um, double cross there are the, there is the fingering. And uh, we have uh, those um, two possibilities, possibilities to add the fingering. We can uh, choose the uh, numbers for our fingers or we also can choose um, the abbreviation, uh, the first um, char of the chosen finger. So I will, uh, with this first example, I will choose the numbers. So uh, for this chord, I would choose the um, index finger for the fifth uh, string on the first fret and I would choose the middle finger for the first string on the second fret. So this would be the middle finger and here we have the index finger and so this uh, shape now looks like this. And let's say we want to uh, take the same shape or I will show you how uh, simple it is to uh, add another shape with the same definition. So we choose uh, here the plus button to add another shape. Then we go to the shape then we, that we like to copy. Double click on it and then copy and then double click on the new shape and paste and now I will change this uh, to the um, M for the middle finger and here we choose the E for the index finger and so it looks like this. That's it for the fingering. Okay so that's it for adding chords and fingerings to the chord property database. If you have questions, simply send me an email or post onto the forum. Rock on and bye bye.